Hi there, fellow classmates. Glad you stopped by to learn about using VoiceThread. VoiceThread is a cool new application that allows your instructor to record videos, but also allows you to comment within those videos. Today, we are just going to cover a few basics of VoiceThread in Moodle. So, how do you find VoiceThread? The best part is, you don't have to. When you're logged into Moodle, you'll see if your instructor has added a VoiceThread activity to your course by the VoiceThread icon next to the assignment. Now, VoiceThread does work best in the Google Chrome browser, and there is a VoiceThread app. But, many Oglethorpe students have reported the most success using their computer to interface with VoiceThread. When you click on the VoiceThread activity, you will have the option to open VoiceThread in a new tab. You may find it's helpful to go full screen. Choose the assigned video if you see multiple recordings. To watch a video or listen to audio from your instructor, click on the box with their name on the left side of the screen. Clicking on the box should start the video. If your instructor has uploaded slides or recorded multiple sections, you can move forward and backward between sections by clicking the arrows on the bottom right. Often, your instructor may expect you to add a comment to the video. To add a comment by audio, video, or text, hover your mouse over the screen at the bottom middle and click the plus sign. Here, you can choose to type a response by clicking on the ABC, record audio by clicking on the microphone, or add video by clicking on the video camera icon. Once you make your selection, a box will pop up and you can begin typing or recording. Click Save to keep your comment, or Cancel to start over. To reply to another person's comment, hover over the comment, then click on the arrow. The same commenting features we just went over will appear. These are the most basic features of VoiceThread. Some instructors may use the platform, others will not. You can find more help with VoiceThread on the VoiceThread homepage at voicethread.com slash howto slash moodle dash two slash. That's a wrap. See you in class or on Zoom. <laughs>